This is a Stocke Explory, and today we're going to open up the brake system uh, in order to show you how it functions and uh, go over some things you can do if you have problems with this system and just kind of show you the overall uh, brake system as you can troubleshoot any sort of different sorts of issues you have. Uh, so we did a previous video where we showed people how to fix some brake issues with, uh, with the chassis of an Explory um, using lubrication and not really opening anything up. Um, but uh, we've had a few comments that that hasn't worked for everybody. So we're gonna give a little bit of a more in-depth uh, view on this brake system. So uh, as with a lot of foot brakes, uh, it functions as such. When you depress or lift up the pedal, uh, this little pin is gonna move up and down and this is gonna lock right into the teeth on the inside of the wheel. And uh, usually with Explorer, you don't have trouble with this brake element on the wheel itself, but of course, if one wheel isn't locking, uh, you should examine these teeth and make sure that they're not broken. Um, in order to get at this pin, we're gonna have to unscrew a few screws here. So, start with these two screws and leave the third for now. And then we can just pull this plate right off. So you're gonna have a corresponding part on the other side. Uh, this part though, moves like this, yeah. And this screw is what's holding the axle uh, that runs through the brake pedal in place. And then it's like this long curved elephant trunk looking piece. It's moving the pin up and down and on the, uh, the tip here, you have a wire that runs all the way through the back of the frame and activates a similar piece on the opposing side. So if you're having trouble with uh, activating the brakes on the side where the pedal is, there's a good chance that the screw is loose or this pin is loose. Pull this off. So at this point, you could actually just pull the entire pedal out. If the pin is loose on this piece, it means you'll have to replace the pedal itself because this is uh, entrenched into this little plastic tubing. Um, so that's just the way that is. Uh, but you do want to check that the pin is not loose here. And you'll notice that there's quite a lot of dirt and grime that can tend to build up over time here. If you're having trouble with the brake system, it's not a bad idea to clean all of that out. And then use a silicon spray, as these are plastic parts in this point of the system. You can do the same thing on the back side here of the frame. So again, if you're having trouble with the brakes uh, activating, um, make sure that that whole area is clean and smoothly functioning, that the brake pin is tight inside the pedal, and that the screw that holds this uh, metal plate in position is tight. That is actually most commonly the problem here because when that isn't tight, it means that the pedal is having less of an effect moving down this metal plate. Uh, you also wanna check this metal plate is not bent in the wrong way. So it should be flat all the way down to the point at which the wire connects. Okay, I'm gonna just put this back together. Okay, so I'm not gonna actually remove the wire, um, but the wire can sometimes break, and that actually tends to happen on the opposing side. 
which I'm going to open up in a moment now. If the wire has broken, you simply need to get a hold of another wire. You can contact the stocka uh, and you can just feed it straight through to the opposing side. Okay, I'm just going to close up this side before opening the other side. Plate fits on just as such, and then we'll just screw it in tightly. Okay, gonna open up the other side then. So again, just the first two screws that are on either side of the axle, not the third screw because that holds that plate inside in place. Uh, this is, by the way, also how you remove the axle. As soon as you take that plate off, you can pop the axle straight out. Okay, so now when I depress the wire, you'll see that it's pushing down on this metal plate on this side. So if you're having trouble with the opposing wheel locking or unlocking, uh, it's going to either be, again, the screw here or a need for lubrication of the overall system or unfortunately, often the wire. Uh, the wire again runs down through the back frame and attaches here. Now, in the past, I've actually tried several times to uh, home make my own wire for this. And uh, it's actually, it's never worked for me. I would recommend trying to get a hold of an original Stokke wire. And the reason I think has to do mostly with the pressing down element. So it's really hard to get a hold of a wire that has the uh, correct stiffness that it can activate to push rather than pull as most uh, wire systems would do. Uh, you would need something of exactly the right length uh, running all the way through and curved at the right places, but more importantly, that has uh, the right sort of metallic composition to both fit through the uh, channel, uh, but and also be able to press down on this larger metal system uh, in order to activate it. If you feel yourself competent enough to do something like that, by all means, just pull out uh, what's left of your wire if it's broken and uh, do your measurements and uh, find the correct uh, thickness and type of wire for this. Uh, but otherwise, um, just order another one uh, if you talk to them again uh, it should be possible to get a hold of it uh, in any case though that is how the brake system looks inside on the stock explorer uh, it is uh, the same for really every generation of stock explorer uh, pretty much maybe a few small variations um, but that's how it fits together and I uh, hope that we've helped you troubleshoot any sort of problems that you might have uh, with your own brake system. Just leave any comments below the video if you have any uh, questions of things that we haven't covered uh, that you would like to see about this brake system. Uh, and we hope this video has been helpful. If it has, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.